Mason, 65 point win tonight, a game clear on top. What's the feeling amongst the group? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's, a, it's a good vibe at the moment. Uh, everyone's enjoying it and our, our game plan's stacking up, which is kind of the big thing. So, um, yeah, big big win on a Sunday night versus a good good squad in GWS was, um, you know, I think a, a good kind of notch that we've uh, been able to accomplish this week. And it's been a, a long couple of months for you. It's been, a, I guess, a long road back, limited ability to kind of move and do training and running. Can you talk through what the last couple of months has looked like and how happy you are just to be back out playing? Yeah, essentially it's five months of not being able to do anything, not being able to get the heart rate up or anything like that. Maybe maybe I should take five months off more often, or sorry, five weeks off more often. Uh, but no, it was, it was good. It was a bit, uh, a bit of a scary five weeks um, and not being able to do anything is quite frustrating not to be able to do your job. But uh, I got back and was fortunate enough to essentially, you know, five days and just into a game. So it's kind of chaotic how, it, how quick it turned around, but credit to the high performance team and what they've been able to do and getting us in shape beforehand so I could be able to get back into the squad as soon as possible. Who are some of the people that kind of help you through that, I guess, tough five weeks as well? Who are some of the people that helped you get back out there tonight? Uh, so Jerry Wade's our you know, high performance manager. He was he was massive and he's the one that kind of puts everything together as far as the running program and all that. And um, PT was another one. He, he did a few running, running sessions in the rain. Never fun for a big man. But um, yeah, it was good. Now, them two are the, the ones I probably dealt with the most and uh, the rest of it, we couldn't really do much. It was just kind of recovery. So a lot of, uh, a lot of time with Paula, who's our ballerina. Um, and she's, a, she's an absolute legend. So she's always kind of looked after me and helped my body uh, whenever you kind of get the, uh, the different bumps and bruises. And someone that shared similar experiences in the past has been Jamie Elliott tonight, popped up with three goals. How nice was it to see him back on the end of a few? Yeah, it's good. He's, um, he's a hell of a player. Uh, he just kind of seems to always be Mr. Consistent and um, had one of those kicks from the pocket everyone remembers last year, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, he's, he's one of those players, I think, that um, yeah, he's had to probably have, you know, shoulder a bit more of a load with the fact that we've had so many big men go down and he's had to play a bit taller against different opponents. And it's a credit to him, like whatever, you know, challenge that kind of gets put his way, he always kind of conquers it and go, comes out on top. So he's a hell of a player and um, a great teammate. And there was a big focus on having the mums involved tonight. Unfortunately, your mum couldn't be here tonight. Uh, Phil was very active on Twitter, as you've just found out. Do you have a message for them back in the States? Uh, no, happy Mother's Day, Mom. It's just turned Mother's Day back in the States. So um, love you very much and everything you've given up for myself and the two brothers. And um, days like today are a bit tougher whenever you're not here, but we'll hopefully see you next week. So happy Mother's Day. Love you lots. And um, we'll see you soon. Well said, Mason. Great performance tonight. Enjoy the win. Seriously. Thanks, Legend.